Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here, explaining cooldown in Pokemon Go. Cooldown is the time you need to wait between each trigger action. I will go over each action soon in this video. Here is what I mean. When you trigger an action, you have now set your cooldown location, we'll call this location A. Now you will have to wait a certain amount of time until you can do another action in a different location. The time you need to wait depends on the distance traveled. Here is an example. Spinning a Pokestop is a trigger action. So I'm going to go ahead and spin this Pokestop. Now that I've spun this Pokestop, my cooldown location has been set. And if I want to do another trigger action, like catch a Pokemon, I will need to wait a certain amount of time before I can do that, depending on how far away the next action is. So I'm going to go ahead and find a Pokemon nearby. So let's go ahead and open the map and teleport to a nearby location. Now that I've teleported to a nearby location close by to location A, where I spun the Pokestop, I can now tap on a Pokemon and still catch it even though I teleported. Again, teleporting does not activate cooldown. Now that I've caught this Pokemon, my cooldown location has now been set at this location, since catching a Pokemon is a trigger action. Now let's say I want to travel very far from my cooldown location. The time I would need to wait before I can do anything in that location will be much longer. Here is an example of this. So I'm going to zoom all the way out and travel all the way to Spain. Now my cooldown location A where I caught the bronze ore is in New York. Now I'm going to teleport to Spain, which is extremely far away from my cooldown location. So now if I try to catch a Pokemon here, they will all flee because I have not waited my proper cooldown, as you can see here. Same thing with Pokestops. If I try to spin a stop, nothing happens. So I have a cooldown chart here that will help you determine how long you need to wait between each trigger action. As you can see, the max wait time is two hours. So after two hours of not triggering a cooldown action, you can do anything in game, anywhere. Cooldown action number one, Pokemon. Just tapping on a Pokemon does not trigger your cooldown location. Only throwing a Pokeball or Berry will trigger your cooldown location. Even if you do not hit the Pokemon with the Pokeball, your cooldown location will still be triggered. Cooldown action number two, Pokestops. Same with the Pokemon, just tapping on a Pokestop will not trigger your cooldown location. Only actually spinning the stop will trigger your cooldown location. Cooldown action number three, Raids. To take part in a raid, you must be off cooldown. You have not triggered your cooldown location in the past 120 minutes or 2 hours. Once the raid is complete, you have the ability to run from the raid boss to avoid triggering your cooldown location. Just like regular Pokemon in the wild, as soon as you throw a ball or a berry, you will have triggered your cooldown location. Cooldown action number four, gyms. Same with a Pokestop, just tapping the gym does not trigger your cooldown location. Only feeding berries to the Pokemon, battling the gym, adding Pokemon to the gym, and spinning the gym photo disc will trigger your cooldown location. Cooldown action number five, Team Rocket Battles. Battling Team Rocket Grunts, Leaders, and Giovanni does not trigger your cooldown location. Like Pokemon in the Wild, only throwing a ball or a berry at the Pokemon will trigger your cooldown location. Even while you are on cooldown, you are still able to battle Team Rocket to earn rewards and Stardust, but you will be unable to catch the Pokemon. 
So those were the actions that caused cooldown. Again, here's the list of actions that trigger your cooldown. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Happy hunting and God bless.